What is up, car addicts? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Bravado Buffalo S commonly known as Franklin's car because this was his main personal vehicle in story mode. So this car is an OG vehicle that's been in GTA 5 story mode since day one. However, it wasn't officially added to GTA Online for purchase until June of 2014 with the I'm Not A Hipster update. So you can find this car on the Southern San Andreas website for $96,000, which is a very cheap price in GTA Online, all things considering these days, especially for a car that has decent customization, as you'll see here shortly. Now, this car is in the sports car class, so obviously it's nowhere near any of the top sports cars or even the average sports cars in terms of performance. And for reference, it's around 50th place in the sports car class in terms of track performance. So yeah, not too great. You're not gonna be getting anywhere near any of the decent sports cars and races but again that's not why you buy this car you buy it for the style the exhaust note the driving experience the fact that it's franklin's car it's just you know a very cool vehicle in general but anyways the buffalo s is primarily based on the 2012 dodge charger srt8 which was a very good looking charger at the time when it released and obviously we have to keep in mind that gta 5 came out in 2013 so the Hellcats didn't exist back then, they weren't unveiled until mid-2014, and that's why a lot of players for many years have been wanting an updated Buffalo in-game, inspired by the Charger Hellcat, which I think would be a great addition to the game, especially nowadays since the wide-body release, I think a wide-body Charger Hellcat would be an awesome addition to the game, especially since we have the Gauntlet Hellfire that released a couple years ago, I see no reason as to why they haven't added it yet. But hopefully we get it in the next update or sometime in the future. But currently, at the time I'm recording this, the Buffalo S is the most modern Dodge Charger we have available in game. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out the customization of Franklin's Buffalo S. Alright, Franklin's Buffalo, let's do it. We got armor, we got brakes, bumpers. So you have a custom front splitter, you can see there, basically primary color splitter. Uh, then you have a carbon version of that, but it adds a tow hook and some reinforcement brackets there. I've um, never been a fan of those little reinforcement rods, I think they just look weird. <laughs> Especially how these just go straight through the bumper, just kind of strange. Uh, this one you have painted front bumper, so a little black section that's in between. Um, the grills, that section, you can have it painted with this option here, and then the, these last couple are just the same option as the other ones, but with the painted front bumper. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the painted bumper and splitter. We'll do that. Rear bumper, so see here. So this is the first option here. Definitely makes the bumper, I guess, a little bit more round and a little smaller, and the diffuser's a little different as well. And the license plate was also moved up, very interesting. And the last one here, definitely the best one. It gives you some vents back here. Um, just overall really nice, and it gives you a, a fake vent on the side. Kind of similar to like the 2015 Charger Hellcat. Um, and it's kind of funny how Rockstar put that there before the real car even had it. Because remember, this car is from 2013. The Charger Hellcat came out in 15. Yeah, so it's kind of cool to see that vent there before it even came to the real car. Um, but you know how Dodge is. They probably got inspired by aftermarket companies, and that's probably what Rockstar got inspired by. So we'll do a sports rear bumper. We got engine. Exhaust. Okay. So you have the stock exhaust, which is a beautiful chrome tip quad exhaust system. Uh, let me rev it up a bit here so get rid of the smoke. And then here you have the dual exit exhaust, which is, I guess, more like an oval shape, um, split in the center. Very weird looking design. It's almost like two tips split in the middle. Looks a little strange. Um, then you got the big bore exhaust, which is two giant ovals. Um, quad titanium, oval titanium, and then 
a race exhaust, which looks like titanium as well. Um, so sadly, there's no... I wish there would have been, like, chrome tips or polished tips, but just bigger quad. Uh, but I think the stock is pretty good um, for what I'm looking for. Um, maybe also some exhaust like this big bore, but maybe circular, kind of like the real car. I think that would have been a nice choice, too. But unfortunately, we're stuck with... <laughs> different titanium options and oval options so I guess we're gonna go with the uh, stock exhaust we're gonna keep that a grill your stock grill is chrome which definitely looks awful on a Dodge Charger it doesn't really look too great uh, then you have black grill then you have chrome open and then you have black open and then exposed intercooler I definitely like the black open I feel like the exposed intercooler looks <laughs> a little strange on this car um, the black open grows definitely a lot better in my opinion, so I'm going to do that. The hood. So the first option here you have is a vented hood. See the angle there. Very cool looking. The second option you have is the Ram Air hood. Kind of similar to the Charger Hellcat. But this one is <laughs> a lot bigger. Um, it's it's huge. It's, it's a little... It's, it's almost uh, aftermarket kind of race car style Ram Air hood. I mean, it, it is massive. Uh, definitely a bit overkill um, and you have carbon and then you have carbon vented um, normally you know I, I'd find this a bit too large but I mean it does still look pretty cool on the car you know it makes it look kind of like a special edition or something with this giant hood and you secretly have a giant <laughs> supercharged engine under there um, you know it, it looks alright we'll do the ram air hood uh, do, do, do lights okay so you have the stock lights here you throw some xenons on there uh, license plate so you have my stock plate here which I found kind of funny the stock plate I randomly got was four zeros then a Q and then 714 I that, that that's random um, so license plate for this we're gonna go with family because you can't have a Dodge Charger without enough family in it so put some more family in there I'm sure Dominic Toretto will be proud uh, we got <laughs> race spray so uh, Dodge Chargers in general you know I there's something about a blacked out Dodge Charger that just looks so, so good. Whether it's a Hellcat, even a normal V6 Charger, they look great blacked out with a nice set of black wheels. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for this. Well, I have done different builds in the past, you know, Candy Red, kind of similar to Octane Red or Yellow, but I think the black definitely looks the best on this car. So I'm going to throw a primary matte black to get rid of any pro on there. And then we're going to do our crew black. And you can see the difference. The secondary color of this car is your uh, hood vent and your roof. Um, and the crew black is what we have around that. You can see how much darker it is in the normal black. So we're going to do that. And then secondary, we're just going to make it match. Perfect. Okay, your crumble on this car is very strange. It goes <laughs> right there, right above the Bravado logo on the hood. That is such a weird <laughs> placement. Uh, very very strange for sure, but on 2013 cars for some reason most of them had it on the hood Not not sure why but most of the newer cars these days have it on the doors Anyways moving along we have roll cage. I forgot this was an option on this car. So it's a full roll cage I guess maybe if you're trying to do like a movie stunt car or something or like a race car build I guess that'd be pretty cool to have on there um, but we're not going to do that. We don't need roll cages when we got family, right? We're all going to survive this crash. <laughs> Roof, you have a sun strip option right there. Never been a fan of the sun strips. Um, and you have carbon roof, which this I do like because we do get a little bit of contrast on the roof. And the reason I did the same secondary was so that we don't have contrast on the hood vent. I don't like contrast on the hood vent, but I do like contrast on the roof. So we're definitely going to do the uh, carbon roof there. Side skirts, you have the extended skirts, then you have carbon. We're going to do uh, custom skirts to match the uh, front splitter that we have there. Rear spoiler, so you have a ducktail spoiler. I am so glad Rockstar made that as an option for this car. I feel like <laughs> that's just, it just has to be, you know, an option for this car. If they would have just had, like, the giant spoilers, like, from just these right here, that would have been really annoying. Thankfully, we do have a ducktail spoiler option. Uh, moving on here, we have the mid-level spoiler, okay, you have a carbon wing, you have a GT wing, and then you have the stock car wing, basically, you know, NASCAR stock car a wing there, um, with the reinforcement brackets all over the place, like a real stock car, kind of 
strange if you're doing that type of build. Uh, maybe I can mix it in with a roll cage or something. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to do the ducktail. Suspension, we definitely got to lower this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Transmission. Turbo. Alright, wheels. So, um, usually this car, you know, back in the day, I used to have this car with the, uh, the cheetah wheel. These right here. But I feel like, you know, it's it's a little overused. Um, especially since we have the newer street wheels. And I feel like we can utilize one of those newer street category wheels and make it look pretty decent. Something similar to that. So I'm going to do the concave racers. You got that nice concave spoke design. And I feel like it looks really good on this car. And of course, we're going to paint them black to match out the black paint we have to make it match. And boom, look at that. I mean, it just... <laughs> looks absolutely incredible all blacked out looks so so good and then in terms of the windows we have light smoke dark smoke and limo um, I think we should black it out with the limo tints it looks pretty good and that's all the options there not too bad not too bad at all all right let's take it for a drive exit to ground it looks pretty good all blacked out I like that <laughs> All right, floor it here. Give it a little rev. Sounds really, really good. Very aggressive sound. It definitely sounds pretty similar to a real life Hemi. I think they did a pretty good job with that. The Gauntlet has a very similar exhaust note as well. Um, and there's something about the Hellfire that I really don't like is the exhaust note. It's got a good idle, but the, <laughs> the exhaust note is just weird. It's like a Tampa crossed with something else. I wish they would have done this exhaust on the Hellfire, but with a little bit of Supercharger wine mixed in there. I think that would have been perfect, but, you know, Rockstar Logic. Alright, let's go for it. Decent wheel spin there, not too bad. Acceleration, you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Again, it's a 2013, you know, big sedan. You, you really can't expect much from it. But, you know, overall, it, it's not slow, you know, it, it is decently quick, I can say that. Uh, brakes are pretty good as well. Uh, handling handles just like you'd expect, like a big sedan, even though I'm sure 99% of you have driven this around in story mode. But, um, you know, when you fully max it out, it does drive a lot better. Um, you know, whereas Franklin's car, you know, unless you go and modify it, it's it stock, so does move pretty good and it's kind of surprising this thing does have a, a you know a good bit of customization but you know R rockstar knowing what is that ai doing <laughs> rockstar knowing that this was going to be you know a main story mode character's car they probably did put a little bit more effort into the customization compared to uh, other 2013 vehicles um let's see here give it a few more turns here it it Again, just like a sedan, the back end steps out whenever it wants to get a little sketchy over the bumps. Uh, overall, you know, not too bad, but it's exactly what you'd expect from this car. But, you know, it's, this car is it, it's very well known, and it's kind of, you know, an icon as being, you know, Franklin's Buffalo. You know, when you see it, that's the first thing you think of. Um, I think that's something really cool, especially since it actually does have customization, and you can really customize it the way you want. And I'm sure a lot of, you know, the, the main reason you guys want me to customize this car is because you're probably hoping we get, you know, a Buffalo Hellfire eventually. You know, a wide body inspired Charger. Hellcat more modern. Um, I hope so too. You know, we can only see what Rockstar does in the next DLC. And depending on when you're watching this video, maybe the DLC already came out and we did get the car or we didn't get the car. So, <laughs> have to see what happens there. Uh, let's go ahead and open all the doors here and see what opens. Let's do all... Here we go. All right, everything opens up nice. Got the interior there. It does say bravado on the door sill. That's pretty nice. Um, interior, you know, it, it, it's a cross between a sedan and an SUV interior. It's very strange. Back here, back seats. The tr wow, the trunk. This is probably one of the worst trunk textures I've ever seen. <laughs> but again, 2013 car. It has to be expected, but this this is really poor. <laughs> okay, engine bay, an inline four, and a V8 Dodge Charger. Um, that says supercharged on the side. I 
That one's a little confusing. Definitely makes you scratch your head a bit, but... <laughs> Overall, you know, just, just close the hood. And just don't open any of the doors. <laughs> and, you know, you customize it the way you want with colors and options, and you can have a nice-looking Dodge Charger. Even if we don't get a new one, I think this is still a very cool car. Anyways, guys, let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next. And I'll display the most like vehicle suggestion comment in my next customization video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.